Good morning. Guess what? I got a new car. What do we think? Do I look like a Jeep kind of person? Okay, I'd like to clarify that I'm not really a new car kind of girl, meaning I take pride in the fact that I'm sort of a minimalist, I really don't waste money, I live way below my means, but that being said, my car that I've had forever shit the bed recently and it was time for an upgrade. I kind of had Luke in my ear about getting something newer, newer, something reliable that would have a warranty, and yeah, this is the first time I really ended up getting something because I wanted it, not just because it was like the most affordable or convenient. So it's not brand new, but it's new to me and it feels really good. But enough about that, today we are hiking and it's gonna be kind of like a cool full circle kind of day. I'm hiking up to south and north bald face right now. It's a loop. I'm in the White Mountains, New Hampshire. These are not 4,000 footers, but we'll get up to like 3,600 feet and have some nice views. But the reason I said it was like a full circle is because I've been here once before. It was before the AT and it was kind of a failure. So let me get up there a little bit and I'll explain. for a quick little break. Go this way. So five years ago, it was the season before I was planning to hike the Appalachian Trail, so 2017. I was still kind of new to hiking. I did a lot of day hiking that season, but I was procrastinating doing an overnight. I'd bought most of my gear, but had never used it. So excuse after excuse, kept pushing it out. It was finally September. I ended up coming up here. I was going to do the loop and then take a trail, like a side trail from the loop for a few miles to a campsite. So I just summited um, North Bald Face and it took me a little over three hours and it's beautiful up here. Barely any wind, no people. <laughs> I have not encountered a single human being since I started this day. I was definitely spoofed at <laughs> just being totally alone. And by the time I finally found the side trail, I was using like paper maps, not any GPS apps or anything. And it was like overgrown. So I couldn't even find it at first. I find the side trail, start making my way down it. And it was like flooded. Flooded is probably an exaggeration, but it was like a puddle, the whole trail. And then I get to a sign not too far into it that basically said like you're entering whatever wilderness area in this trail or this area is not maintained. And I just was like, yeah, just really, I don't know. I was just scared. I was like, this is not a good idea. I don't really feel comfortable with this. And that's unlike me. I'll usually push myself through situations that I'm uncomfortable, but I didn't. I ended up turning back and just hiking back to my car and going home. So yeah, I never did an overnight before the AT. My first night ever sleeping in my tent was on Springer Mountain. And it's just funny and like weird being back here and thinking back to that time and watching that video clip because you don't realize how much you grow, you know? Like I've hiked thousands of miles since then and 
camped hundreds, hundred, hundreds of times. So yeah, it's just funny thinking back. Once again, not a soul, looks like so far. <laughs> a lot really has changed for me in the last few years. I feel like I've entered this new phase of my life where, I don't know if you can relate to this, but I feel like my whole childhood into my adult years I was always wondering like what my life was going to be what I was gonna do where I was gonna live like what I would accomplish who I would be with things like that and I was just always looking ahead and I've been telling Luke recently like all of a sudden I've had this shift to where I've realized like this is it. I'm in it. I'm living it. Like, this is my life. I don't know. I feel like that sounds stupid when you say it out loud or like obvious, but it's just been a perspective shift for me in the last couple of years where I'm really content and enjoying and like being present in my life and not just obsessively wondering what's going to happen, where I'm going to be, what my life is going to be. You know, I mean, obviously things can still change and I'll still have goals and work towards them. Um, but it's just in a less stressful way, I guess. All right, let's go head up north, bald face. where we just came from and came over this way. I can't believe no one is doing this hike today. Oh, it's just been the perfect day. <sighs> this hike reminds me so much of the AT in Maine, just like all these rock outcroppings. We're basically in Maine, like right on the border, so that makes sense. Oh, 
We made it. <laughs> I think it was nine or 10 miles. Perfect day. I got a three hour drive home. All right, see you in the next one.